Hi, this is Brad Linder, and I'm here with a Dell Axum X50V, uh, which is a relatively older um, Windows Mobile device. It's running Windows Mobile 2003 Second Edition, and uh, you know, it's 2010. So as you can tell just from the name of the operating system, this one's been around for a while, and it doesn't run all of the applications that are available for Windows Mobile 5.0, 6.0, 6.5, um, and that includes uh, modern web browsers. So for instance, um, you're sort of hampered with an old version of Pocket Internet Explorer here. It just doesn't work the way a lot of modern mobile web browsers do. It doesn't load pages as quickly. You don't get full page views. And um, most uh, new web browsers just aren't made to run on it. But Opera Mini 5, which was released for Windows Mobile recently, um, while out of the box it's only uh, able to load on Windows Mobile 5 and 6, it actually runs really well on Windows Mobile 2003. Uh, Werner from Smartphone Magazine uh, put together a installer file that basically just uh, repackages the installer so that it'll work on older devices. As you can see, um, you've got a start page here which gives you uh, shortcuts for your frequently visited pages. You can easily add a new shortcut um, just by hitting the plus button. Let's go ahead and load the mobile computing website. I'm uh, doing this over a Wi-Fi connection, which is being a little bit iffy today. But the page loads uh, should be relatively quick because it's actually offloading some of the work to an Opera server. So your device will sort of send a message to Opera that says, um, hey, I want to load this page. Uh, their servers will take the uh, pictures and other heavy images uh, and data compress it and send it back to your device. Sounds like that would be slower, but in a lot of ways it's actually faster because it means less work for your uh, device. Uh, the Dell Axum is actually interesting because it has a 624 megahertz processor. It's pretty speedy, even by today's standards, even though this device is pretty old. And, um, and it also has a VGA display, 640 by 480 pixels. So it's really great for web browsing. As you can see here, uh, by default you'll get sort of a zoomed out full page view. And we can scroll around. We should be able to scroll around. There we go. So you just sort of tap and move around. Double tap and you can zoom in so that you can read the text. And it works really, really nicely. Um, while a lot of other browsers, a lot of other new browsers, give you more fun control over the zooming, uh, let you do a pinch to zoom kind of thing. If you have a multi-touch display, let you sort of zoom in a little bit, zoom in a lot. Um, this is sort of an either or. You've got zoomed out, zoomed in, and that's it. Um, Given the limitations of this device and this operating system, I think that's pretty good. And this is actually probably one of the fastest and most accurate uh, web browsers that I've used on Windows Mobile 2003. So I'm willing to put up with the fact that you don't get a lot of zoom control. Um, let's take a look at the settings here. You've got bookmarks, history, start page. Showed you that already. Uh, save pages, downloads, uh, settings, find in page, help, and exit. In settings, I've actually got the full screen mode on right now. Let's show you what it looks like with it off. So, let's load the New York Times web page here. And again, you can see it loads pretty fast. Uh, still loading, but most of the data is there already, and now the whole thing's loaded. On the bottom, you'll see that you've got sort of a back, forward, reload, tabs, and settings button. Um, tabs work really nicely. So one more tab here. And you'll see that when you've got multiple tabs open, switching back and forth between them is very smooth. Now, there's no accelerometer in this device, uh, but I do have it set up so that you can rotate the screen by pressing a button. So this is what things look like sideways. And there's my wireless settings for some reason. Press it again, and there you go. I'll show you again what it looks like in full screen mode. So now what you've got is a little button here for back and a little button to bring up the settings. Tap the screen, settings go away again. And so, um, and you have no bar at the top here unless you tap the screen. And bring up the settings again. Um, so this actually looks much better in landscape mode if you uh, go in full screen because you don't have so much um, space taken up by the menus. Um, now one thing to note here is that in landscape mode you don't get full page view. You can't really zoom out. You can only 
have the default view. In portrait mode, you can zoom in or zoom out. Um, as for other settings, you can change the font size. Uh, there's some privacy settings. Um, you can use mobile views. So if you're uh, if you want it to be identified as a mobile browser when loading pages, do you want to reload all pages? Yes. And now you sort of have a mobile page view. Um, it's not the default view that I have mobile computing set up for, um, which is sort of a more iPhone looking theme, but instead everything shows up in one column here. I'm not a huge fan of that particular view, so I'm going to turn it off. You can change the image quality to low, medium, or high, and you can even set it to not load images at all. So, you know, there's a first look at reload the images. Um, so there's a first look at the um, Opera Mini 5 web browser on a Windows Mobile 2003 device. This is the Dell Axum X50 V uh, PDA. So if you happen to have an older Windows Mobile, I definitely recommend taking a, a look at uh, Werner's um, uh, version of the Opera installer because it runs really nicely on these older devices. This is Brad Linder for Mobile Computing.